Veterans have been calling in with their investment questions as well. It's a special edition of Ask Halftime. Listen to this video question for the investment committee. Greetings to the CNBC Halftime Report team from U.S. Army 10th Mountain Division Specialist David Alton Clark from Fort Drum, New York. Currently, I'm sitting in my office bought and paid for by profits from uh, the last 10 years of trading and watching the show. What is your number one pick for 2022 and why? Thank you very much for a decade of amazing television. Appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate that. We're grateful for your service as well. By the way, DAC is one of our most loyal viewers. Dr. J, you know that. Uh, he's always watching the show. He's always tweeting about the show. Uh, so we're so happy to be able to include that today. W what's your answer? My answer, Scott, is uh, lithium. Uh, I'll be more specific and I'll dial it down to QuantumScape because you just can't have enough lithium right now. Uh, I know that it will be recycled as well, and Albemarle, uh, like Diga said, is a great way to do that. But I'll say QuantumScape, QS is the symbol. Bryn? I didn't, I didn't know what John was going to say, <laughs> but uh, mine is lithium, but LIT. Uh, it's an ETF that does the full vertical from manufacturing to mining to battery production. It owns Albemarle. It owns Tesla. It owns Panasonic. Um, a quick stat here. The U.K. wants to be all EV new car sales by 2035. If that happens in the U.K. alone, that would take three quarters of the world's lithium supply. I think lithium's a long-term secular trend. Um, buy lithium over Rivian. All right. I've saved my servicemen for last. Degas, you're up first. So I'm going to give you some diversification because uh, I already talked about Albemarle. Let's go with Manhattan Associates. They're providing the solutions for logistics and supply chain management. And we all know that's a really critical need now. Also, it's very attractive at these levels, top desk off for profitability and growing um, revenues and EPS. It has not missed the EPS since, I believe, July of 2018. All right, Jim, you're up. Yeah. Mr. Clark, thank you for your service. Thank you for your support of the show, which is well known to all of us. My answer is look at the next year as a relay race, okay? So the first half of the year, I want you to be in energy. You can use the XLE, but that's only gonna last about six months or so, and then I want you to switch into FANG. And if you need one FANG name to pick up, you can use Apple. All right.